Throw a stone. Or yeah. Look like us after the. Well, my friends, my dad always told me before you do things. Yeah, this one, you're not gonna if throw that, there. If, if that one would do that to you, would you like that here by <laughs> throw stone at you? No. No. So it's don't do it to somebody else. Huh? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Welcome vegans, here's some unused footage. This is me filming all of this. This is Andre Greipel, Team Lotto. You see the cadence, they'll do high cadence duels, all the boys are spinning. And just cadence, 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 cadence. I've been training with the, on the back of pro riders, these two and under since like 2003. And every year the cadence gets higher and higher and higher. Uh, they normally ride three to four hours, um, and they stop every hour or two to piss. Uh, they drink a lot, they eat a lot. There's nobody doing fasted training. No one's doing that. That's all bullshit. Even, I mean, you can, nah. Of every single fucking team I've ridden with, I've ridden with probably close to a thousand pro riders. They all motherfucking eat. They've got gels, they've got sports drink. Most of them have breakfast as well. This is up Checkers Hill. This is 2013 on the old Sibella. This is a koala in the tree. And uh, we are with, uh, who are we with? I think Trek, Jens Voigt. Andy Schleck, I'm just moving my bike out of the traffic. Excuse the shaking. I've come a long way, haven't I? Camera world. This is Trek. Uh, before they had the uh, new kit, they weren't crafted. We've got a fucking iPad taking shots there of the, uh, the koalas. Um, so they're friendly lads. But uh, here we're removing a single, a tubular tyre. Uh, someone got a flat tyre. And they are a pain in the ass to work on. So I don't really recommend them. Unless you have a tin car following you. But that's how we're removing this single with a <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> Probably not what any any uh, manufacturer would recommend, but this is how we do it when you get your rims for free off the manufacturers. And, uh, removing that single there. They're like a hundred bucks or you know, more to glue it and stuff. It, singles are just a lot of dicking around, personally. I recommend just using standard clincher rims. And uh, there we go. Just trying to find a spoke nipple or something like that. But in the tracks, the Madone's on top. The new Madone looks pretty different, doesn't it? Pretty radical. This is before the Amondas come out. This is 2013. He's trying to find a spoke nipple or something. Anyway, this is, uh, is that Andy Schleck? Or maybe Ben Hermans. Looks like Andy Schleck. Oh, that's Jens Voigt, I think. That was Jens Voigt. They're doing about five watts per kilo. And they would just start down the bottom. They'd be sprinting up. Here I'm just talking some, some gibberish. Today, as you can tell, up here back, Crash up front. That's the thing, Adelaide man, best cycling on oh, earth. And here we have the Movistar riders. Movistar, they're running the SRMs now. They're, I think they're on Power Two Max as a Pinamello frame. Isn't it amazing how, when you see a bike, it looks really awesome and cool, but then two years later or a year later, it's like, oh, it's old. <laughs> a classic bike's a classic bike. So. If you think getting the latest and greatest will keep you satisfied, it never fucking will. It never fucking will. Because there's always going to come out new next year or next month. Just enjoy what you got in the bamboo bike. The bamboo bike is a classic bike in that every motherfucker who sees it pretty much is like, what the fuck is that? It's a termite bike. So there's Escatel here, taking photos of it. I mean, I could have, the, I could have like a $15,000 S-Works or whatever. No one's going to take a photo of it. No pro riders going to take it. But ride a bamboo bike that's heavy and clunky. Still goes alright. They're like, what the fuck? How is this guy keeping up on a bamboo bike? So, it's quite interesting the difference there between a classic bike and a modern bike. Even though it's sort of modern. This is turning under stage uh, four, maybe 2013. Coming up to the sprint finish in Lobethal, <clears throat> you this sort of video gives you an idea of the speed. Look at that bunch, man. Just fucking going. They're going uphill. 
It's like a little rise here, just fucking hammering the... F Look at that. That's not sped up. That is flying, bro. Not even sped up at all. Just fucking spot flying, man. You know, flying. The camera even had difficulty recording it because there's so many moving objects in the frame. And the cars are flying around there. They're probably doing over 60k an hour. The riders up a little rise. And this boy's here off the back a bit, split up a bit. But you can see it's just nerves of steel. So dangerous. You slip a pedal. It's, it's hectic as fuck. And the sky riders off the back, just chilling, done the job. This is up corkscrew. Uh, I think it was the first time they used corkscrew. They're looking at it, they're flying up here, man. They're motherfuck. This is like the, the last part of corkscrew. And they're fucking sprinting up there. The lead bunch. Just sprinting up there. Coming down Monocute Road, there was just like crashes galore. And was it Ted King or Bedden King had a massive fucking crash, busted himself up just a few minutes after this footage was taken. Career ending injuries for a few riders and some massive, massive fucking crashes just a few minutes after this footage was taken on the bend. Compared this to this year's footage, I've come a little bit better in my camera skills again, haven't I? But, uh, you get to see a difference in speeds. 30 seconds is a long, long, long time in professional cycling. 30 seconds can be doing... Hey, half a bike length can be doing between getting a contract next year and not getting a contract. Half a fucking bike length. No, no, not even half... Half a fucking wheel length. Because if you win a big race, you get more points. So half a fucking wheel can be doing between getting a contract and not getting a contract. So you have to do everything it takes, mate, at this fucking level if you want to be on a fucking big team. Otherwise, you know, this guy's in a fucking scooter. What's he doing? Um, that'd be distracting, wouldn't it? <laughs> but one thing I learned is this thing, the pros is just, these guys are going to be easier. It's focus. They just learn how to relax and focus. That's another go vegan. That wasn't me. I think it was Derek. And uh, the corkscrew. The corkscrew stage is a good one. This is shot of an iPod. iPod 4G. Fourth gen. And we have the specialized Tarmacs here. On um, CSC, I think that's Bianca Reese. That's the Venge. Not many of those colours are in, is there? It's a nice colour. Specialised do have some wicked colours, and so does Trek this year. Even Giant, Giant stepped up the game this year as well, haven't they? Some rad colours. Uh, people checking out the Bamboo Bike. I don't know. And the team car sucks. So I think it was Bianca Reese was there that year. And uh, there's zip wheels. And it's amazing. It's just I'll be it's OCD. It just triggers me that the how the bikes don't fall off. You know, <laughs> you don't have to be pretty confident in your fucking ability that your bike was on the roof properly. I wonder how many bikes get thrown off. 